This video scribe is for students at the University of the Sunshine Coast studying contemporary issues in accounting. In this video, we'll be looking at theory construction. This topic is about what we know and about how we know what we think we know and how to challenge what we thought we knew about what we know. In other words, this topic is about theory. The first distinction that can be made is between normative and positive theory. Normative theory, like the conceptual framework, are prescriptions of what should be. Good normative theory involves logical deduction from broad principles to establish specific requirements. The other type of theory is called positive theory. Positive theory is interested in what is. Theories are how we make sense of the world around us. At the most basic level, theories describe the world. Theory provides the lens by which the world is observed, and that determines what is observed. Descriptive theory can be very useful to develop and share a common understanding of the world around us. The next step after describing the world is to explain the things that we're observing. Again, there may be various theories, either complementary or conflicting. The most useful types of theories help us to make predictions. What we've been talking about is how observations help us to build and test and continue to build our understanding of the world around us. This is called the scientific method. You need to understand the steps in the scientific method. Also, you should note the role of theory and observation. That's the connection between what we already know, or think we know at least, that leads us then to make predictions. If the theory makes predictions that are supported by what we see through observation of the real world, then we become a little more confident in our theory. If the theory leads us to make predictions that are not consistent with what we see in the real world, we have to go back and change, expand, or perhaps even completely abandon the theory. This is how our understanding of the world, and accounting, builds over time. It's through the scientific method that we as an accounting profession can develop and challenge the theories about how to make accounting useful. It's important to recognize that there's no perfect theory, and that theory is never proven. For what we observe, there may be various alternative plausible explanations, or apes. Through the scientific method, we can find those theories that are best able to describe, explain, and predict the world around us. Some important terms in the scientific method are induction, where we take observations and try to develop more general theories, deduction, where we take general theories and use them to make specific predictions, and falsification, which is how theories are tested. If the prediction, or in other words, our hypothesis, is supported by observation, it does not prove that the theory is correct. It just adds some support to the theory. If the prediction or hypothesis is not supported by what we see in the real world, then the theory is falsified. That means that there must be something that's not quite right in the existing theory. In a way, that's good. It means that the theory can be improved. It's the black swan that can challenge and increase what we know about the world. We can also think about theory in terms of the knowledge that you have that guides your individual behavior. It's a useful exercise to reflect on how you know what you know, because what we know is not always right. When I was learning about the GFC, I came across a video scribe video, like what we're using here. I really enjoyed watching it, and based on my limited experience, I thought, wow, that's much better than a PowerPoint presentation. This is an example of anecdote. Using limited experience to draw conclusions is problematic. One example doesn't mean that video scribe will be good for everyone, or for conveying different types of ideas, or that it even leads to learning at all. Another reason why I might go to the time, effort, and cost to create these video scribe videos is that my head of school might tell me that we need to provide those videos to increase student satisfaction and learning. If I accept that as being true without question, then I'm being dogmatic. Like a loyal dog that trusts a master, I might do whatever I'm told without understanding why. There are some things that just seem obvious, or at least they make sense to us. When a video scribe video is done well, it makes sense to me that it would capture your attention and therefore be an effective way to increase your learning. But there are serious problems with all three of these ways of knowing. Some things that seem self-evident are not true. Sources we trust are not always correct, and what has happened in the past doesn't always apply in the future. We should be critical thinkers. In this course, you won't learn about how to create financial statements, but you will think about why we create financial statements. 
So that's the end of this video, Scribe. If you found it useful, please take a second and press like, or even better, make a comment. If you've got suggestions for improvement, that would be greatly appreciated as well. Thanks.